Good morning. I figured I would just show you my morning routine because it's just as minimal. <laughs> I don't really wash my face in the morning anymore, especially since it's been really dry outside and my face has been really dry. I just wet my face with some like, cold water um, just to wake myself up. If I need a spot treatment, I'll do that and I'll just put a spot treatment on my little pimples. I have a different, a different La Roche Posay. This one's the Adapalene Gel 0.1% Acne Treatment. And this one you only need to use, they only recommend using it once a day. And I used to use this one at night instead, but I switched around my routine because this one, it's stated in, in the little directions that it's best if you create a routine with it. Moisturizer. And so two fingers. It looks like a lot initially, it kind of is, but though my skin's super dry at the moment, I'm concentrating it on my neck because I'm starting to wrinkle and it's not cute. My battery is dying now, so if it dies, this is it. I just plug this in until it's all done. And as you can see, it's starting to mold itself in quite nicely. But it does take a bit of time. Right here, like under my necklaces, my chest. Like there's no ashy white film. Alright, and now um, we're done. I don't know what today's gonna consist of. Hopefully not the same old shit, but it's seeming like it. <laughs> so, I did a couple Instacarts today. Because today's Wednesday, I do this thing called Bondé Fasting. And you basically just fast on water, juice, and tea all day um, from sunrise to sunset. Or you can do sunrise to sunrise. I usually just do sunrise to sunset. Basically, not long after sunset, I was like, okay, dinner time i wanted to make salmon but i left my salmon in the fridge too long so i went to sprout so get new to make new salmon how do i get another bug bite <laughs> um so i went to sprouts to get more salmon i got their atlantic salmon filet so i think i'm gonna bake that in the oven i usually use this app called yumly which is a really good app. If you have ingredients that you don't know quite what to make, you can search your ingredients into this database where they have a ton of recipes, and then you can see what you can make with the ingredients that you have, or if you just want, you know, a new recipe for something. It's always nice, it's fun, so. But I know I wanna do baked salmon. I think I wanna do some potatoes with it. I have bok choy, and arugula i have some i have like a lot of greens and stuff so maybe do like a baked salmon salad with some potatoes on the side we'll see i have mushrooms oh what if i have no mushrooms which i already washed so i just like that's a lot of them i have a little baby bok choy i have a single zucchini some bell peppers i have an onion and a half my refrigerator, baby arugulas, and I have three russet potatoes. I'm gonna see what it is I can make. You can search recipes, or you can also search, um, like you can add the ingredients you want and get rid of the ingredients that you want. I'm gonna add salmon, mm, lobster tail, mm, mm. garlic brown sugar glazed salmon, honey garlic salmon, mm. five ingredient marinated salmon, garlic butter salmon and foil that looks good i'm just gonna go with the baked salmon and foil for right now because it seems very easy one thing that i saw on the internet was <laughs> someone was creating their salmon dish and they had done this like melted butter with garlic kind of thing so i think i'm gonna do that and my dishes is done they look so good and so clean for me. all right so this is my prep station as you can see Oh, my belly. I look pregnant. I'm definitely not. It's just food, but... Wow. I think it makes me money so I can hit the gym again. <laughs> so, I'm going to use all this garlic because I love garlic. 
and then half an onion. until I'm not a professional. Okay, as you can see, this is more than enough onion. I feel like I really didn't even need this much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, and my eyes are watering. Okay, onion done, chopped. And then we're going to move on to this garlic cluster. Alright, so garlic's done. So I'm doing just two potatoes. I did about three mushrooms. And for the bok choy, I'm just gonna rip it, peel it, bop it. Ooh, look at the little baby sprouts. So I'm gonna do half a stick of butter because I only have like half a pound of salmon. So I feel like this is a bit more than I need anyway. And that was four tablespoons. A little olive oil. Preheat the oven to 350s. Gonna add some onion. Ooh, that was more than I needed, but then add the other to the butter. And turn the butter off. that I put in there. Add a little bit of salt, some pepper. Once again, I'm not a professional, in case you didn't realize. I'm gonna take this pan. Salt and pepper. And then I'll throw in just a, just a teensy bit of some old bay, just to... I'm gonna add the zucchini. And mushrooms. I might saute it with it, but I'm not gonna keep all these onions. Because it's a lot. I'm gonna tell you something right now. The baby bell peppers aren't worth the hassle. They aren't. Just get the big one. I'm gonna add the baby lock. This is a bit of a clusterfuck. Alright, so my memory card ran out of battery. So I grabbed a new one. And I'm sauteing. All the veggies right now, as you can see. The timer for the salmon went off, but it's not quite ready yet. Put another 10 minute timer on, there's five minutes left. The potatoes weren't, they weren't like super hard to begin with. I could leave it a little bit longer anyway. So I'm gonna do that, and yeah, I'll show you all the finished product once I'm done. Normally I'll add some like coconut aminos to my little stir fry thing with the bok choy, but since it's salmon, um, I feel like it's not going to taste right. Oh, that's warm. Oh, and it's warm on my necklaces. Oh, look at this. So how's your day been, guys? <laughs> um, are you enjoying my more frequent uploads? I feel like this is very rare for me, but I got nothing better to do. And I really am low on the front front right now, so here we are. The camera is my friend. Do you know I just discovered King Princess, their album? It sounded like it, the vegetables were talking to me for a second. I was like, oh, 
chew, 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 chew. I'm probably gonna get rid of some of this onion though, to be honest, because I really don't need all this. Anyway, Sam is done. Oh, yes. Good shit. Ooh, that's some good shit right there. Like, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Let me play her up. I don't think the taters are done, or they're gonna be done in time for me to actually want to eat them. The taters are just a little tough. Tongue time. So I'm just gonna take out the greeny bits, take out the zucchinis, and the bok choy, and as many of the bell peppers as I can, as well as the mushrooms, preferably without fucking up and getting all this extra onion involved. Yeah, when you like cook so much, so you're just not hungry anymore. That's where I'm at. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. This is the finished product. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll let you know how it tastes. I don't know if it recorded when I took the first bite, but I took a bite. It's delicious. It tastes slightly on the healthier side, despite vegetables being doused in some heavy butter. Yeah, so it's, but worth it. I'm gonna try to finish this. I probably won't, and we'll have half of it for lunch tomorrow. But, oh Jesus, yeah, that's where we're at. I'll see y'all, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. Enjoy your evening, or day, or morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs>